Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another production vlog of The Sergio Show. And this part is the audio editing part. The previous video I recorded and wrote the script for the show, recorded it, and I, here are the two recordings because it's just a couple of lines for this specific episode where I just buy a bunch of camera accessories and it goes crazy. So here it is from the previous video, these recordings. So I would take the, the recordings, in this case two, and uh, I'm in Audacity and they're here and they're going to go through this this first polish and uh, I'll show it to you right now. <clears throat> this like light polish, it's like clean up before I really get to, to editing it, you know? So let me just listen. Okay, I got a piece of the background audio. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I uh, left a long pause to have just the uh, background noise. And what I'm going to do now is uh, go to Audacity, go to Effect, go to Noise Reduction, get Noise Profile, select all this, Noise Reduction again. I already have my settings set right here, and it is... Now it's removing the background noise for the whole recordings. Okay, good. The, the next quick little polish I would do is just cut, you know, that long pause here. And put this more connected here. And Perfect. There we go. And what I would do is take this whole thing and just export it. Okay, cut to here. Now, the reason why I uh, just went and uh, just exported the video, the, the audio as it is, is because Audacity is just the uh, program I used to only polish and uh, clean the audio recordings take out the room noise and maybe cut the extra parts beginning and end and maybe something in the middle but when it comes to full-on editing and just finalizing the audio and cutting it is just a, I'd take it to a, in this case a video editor and ex edit it there and export it into an audio file uh, because the editing tools is so good it can even work for au just audio and that's how I edit the audio recordings for this so let me just now see about this Let's take a listen. Okay, I can hear some of it. Kind of, let me see. Now, uh, yeah, I don't think you can hear from, from how I recorded this, but yeah. So obviously, within those recordings, if you saw the previous video, uh, I did record some things that didn't work, and some mistakes, and bloopers, but I kept it in just to show you how I, how I do this. So what I'm going to do, and this is uh, just a couple of lines, so I can um, easily cut this and edit this. So, so after listening it... Kind of, in this case, not really, but how long is it just raw? Uh, two and a half minutes, which we know it's not two and a half minutes, but sure. See, I add volume curve to this. I can do that. I can't do that in Audacity. So what I would do, I would scrub it because I would know which one it is since it's like... There it is. That, that's, uh, that's that take. Yeah. And this is just for... an episode where it's only going to have two like like lines of dialogue because when it comes to those like four or five minute episodes or the ones where I you know record off of a script or even improvise that takes a long time because I am just like scrubbing through and listening to the ones that are wrong the right takes which uh, line would I choose it is a surprisingly tedious process but it's still fun and I do like editing and even audio editing so it's not a problem for me especially in this case
cut a little space here. Now let's see what we have here. Because I think I did such a good job. Uh, <laughs> such a good job. I think uh, the last line, the second to last line, it was... Uh, with the second to last line of the episode, I think it was just one take. But uh, I think the very last line, I, I left an example, and uh, I'll explain it once I listen to this. Within the last recording, it is very well performed. I did it once, but there are pauses. Pauses because I need to think or take a deep breath because I do edit pauses and obviously audio breaths out in this case. Then to keep with the pace and all that stuff. That's something I realized like six years into the show that I need to delete the parts where I breathe. Okay, that, that second to last line is cut. Now I'm on to the last line where it was also one take except for the last part where I got one word, word uh, wrong. So I reset just that word, camera rig. Uh, but I kept the mistake there, kept the mistake to the, to the incorrect word. So what I'm going to do is cut out the incorrect word. Cut this whole pause and cut this part. And that, that's the uh, right line, and I just put them together, and it should sound natural. Lovely. All right. Pardon me. That, that this is my, my son is off camera, wanting to play with me. And I'm like, oh, he does that sometimes in production. Let me give you a second. So that's what I just did. I just took took the correct line, just edited out the wrong word, edited it in, as you can see, and. It's a proper correct line. Oh. oh, he's congratulating me on such a good audio editing job work. <laughs> oh, such a good boy. Well, good boy. You like to learn about audio editing? So excited. So yeah. Next, what I would do is export this as one whole, ch whole and whole chunk. So let me do that now. So there we go. So now that I've exported that whole thing as a whole line, what I'm going to next do is go to the editing software, get a new scene, <laughs> if you can hear me. And uh, bring in the audio, the, the completed audio recording. So here it is, the complete audio recording uh, that we just did. So let me do. And I just try to uh, edit it. Let me see. Well, my hands are busy, so let me see if I can uh, do it from the speaker. This usually doesn't happen, but, you know, in this case, this little, like, vloggy thing, my little boy wants to be helpful. put a cut here so this cut that I made is gonna be one line for one scene for the show when we get to the next part of the process where I import into Toon Boom but we'll get to that in the next video so that's one usually I would stop around the middle of that space here let me see perfect cut there we go one scene two scene three scenes in credits, sign off, and um, that one funny line. Hmm, my little boy, you're trying to be so supportive and helpful. So, next thing, one more scene. The next thing is one more scene. And, uh, oh, he's happy about the magic of the Sergio show. Well, he's a star in the show, so. I get it. So next scene, I got here. Now I gotta do is copy. Okay, um, I can copy it. Copy, edit, paste object. Yep. Feel right? 
want to help Dead D? Now, now that I put uh, one of the three lines into the timeline of its own scene, I'm going to export it into its own little clip and save it into uh, the folder that I have saved in the uh, episode file of the Sergio show. Just give me a second. All right, I saved one. Export that as an audio. Now the next one. Just so you know, he's settled down now. Take a little nap on the floor. He's so precious. He's so precious. Okay, now back to the show. So I just exported the second one. Now let's get to that third third uh, extra line. Occasion on will delete that and said copy this. There we go. Wrong way. Let me just delete this. And back to here and here. You know what? I just exported the third clip. It's just three lines of recording. Usually in an episode of the Sergio show, it's not three lines. Since it's five minutes or so, three to five minutes or more of dialogue and clips and every shot is a, you know, a little scene clip that I got to do. It, it, there's dozens, like minimum between 20 and as much as 60 little of these bits of recordings. I was lucky it was three. But a lot of episodes that have recordings, it's it's more than that. It's it's a little over twenty, you know, at least minimum twenty, mostly uh, sixty, and that's always that process, but much longer, of course. So since we are um, finished with this part of the process, I can mm, just quickly import these into Tomb Boom while I'm here, have it that part of the process be in the video. So here we are in Tomb Boom Studio version 3.5 of a special uh, animation file of this project where there's, it already has pre-made uh, imported every shot. At least 45 shots has two uh, recording uh, elements and a not drawing yet element. Now this not drawing yet element is to like fill in the space for uh, the thing, for uh, the other recording, but I'm going to show it to you right now. But, you know, I have this set, preset, with uh, this thing here, just to, um, that, that way I can just focus on bringing in the recordings and getting into the production. And this is experience I get to learn from the show, so I'm going to now import uh, the audio recording. All right, so import the audio recording. The purple is, is the audio recording. I can even show you the waveforms. There we go, the waveforms. But when I scrub, I won't hear it, even if I put you know, playback mode. And the reason why is that it won't work is because there's nothing under it. There's no drawing element over it. So I do have to go here, get this not drawing yet element, exposure, extend exposure, and boom. And... That, that's the only way so so that's why I did that and that's why it's set up like that so I did this once now the next thing I, I do especially in this case go to edit uh, sound go here click on this recording which is this and press lip sync lip sync and uh, I, I get a little bit of like one two three just to be sure uh, so Tomb Boom just set the every frame its own lip sync mouth. So there you go with that. That's how I do that. And in this case, I do it two more times. And there you go. That there you have it. I just imported uh, all the dialogue for the show, which is just three lines, a couple of seconds. A lot of other cases will be so much more. But um, in this case, just three. And uh, and uh, the next part of the process, which will be the video, will be the animation and all that stuff but um, we'll see what the next step is usually it would be straight to animation you know with the Sergio character and all that stuff but um, uh, we'll see if that's gonna be the next step maybe it might do something else between that but we'll see we'll see I'm still you know working out the kinks of this whole production vlog thing 
But I hope you're enjoying it so far, and uh, I'll do my best and stuff like that. So, you know, we'll see. And uh, that's all for this video of the Sergio Show vlog production thingy. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff. Again, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day.